Mwana mwanitia gasto nda kukula, tukuni unga. Aseme, aweka bifuwa tharani. Sisi ya tutaki tia gas. Mwataka unga. Na tuibi mutu. Wangwana, mutu wa siibia mutu simu wapa. Mutu wa siibiwe. Hakuna mutu wa naibiwa. Situ kwa wapa loyo. Mwataka tu unga kwenye yake. Na mutu mwengine mwake mwenye yako na roo. Kama ya rikio mondi. Alete mwengine. Alete. Dear viewers, this Wednesday, I have seen something that has discouraged me to a level where I get to wonder whether Kenya is, beca is slowly becoming a banana republic. I have seen that the people of Eric Omondi are going to be able to get to the people of Eric Omondi are going to be able to get to the people of Eric Omondi are going to be able to la yeye pia anafanya kukuja kusimama na watu wa kijiji. Na naambia government jana mliweka maandamano again nyinyi wenyewe mlijiwekea maandamano jana. Kulalamikia watu wa China. Eti China wamerudisha bei chini ya muataki. Leo mtu anakuja kuletea unga mnapiga tear gas. Na watu walikuwa mnyinyi wenyewe Moses Kuria ya president wa Kinagashago wali, eh, wali, waliweka maandamano kwa watu wa China. Amuku wapiga tega zina walikuwa katikati ya town. Uyu ni muta amekuja kupea watu wa kijiji unga, watu wa konanja, watu wana kitu wa kukula, muna piga tia gas. Earlier today, Eric Omondi had planned to have a peaceful event at the city stadium. An event that would lead to those people who are less fortunate in the society to get access to at least unga. Mind you, this issue of unga has become thorny. And I think it's like I've always maintained, this issue of unga is going to be one of the biggest weapon that Kenyans will use to fight this government. It is obvious that the government is not able to lower the prices of unga. They've been politicking about fertilizer, subsidized fertilizer. They talked about rains. They conducted prayers at the Nyayo Stadium. For this rain, rain to come and looks like god has not answered their prayer now this what i'm showing in the screen is what our government is subjecting the citizens of kenya to can you check this video and it is not impressing at all not impressing at all because we didn't expect such to happen especially now that the issue here is just giving the less fortunate at least a piece of unga so that they can utilize. There is a part I heard about an interview, still touching on this uh, issue of Eric Omondi's arrest, whereby Gaucho, that is the ghetto president, said something. And when I, the moment I heard whatever he said, I was a bit shocked because we saw that demonstration at the Nyamakima area, whereby the People, the traders, are, 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 the traders in that area were fighting the Chinese over what they termed as maybe wanasema kwamba Chinese on our biashara. We don't know how that's happening because what we know is that I, as a Kenyan, have a right to buy where I want. I can buy in any supermarket I wish to as long as the prices are conforming to my budget. Mind you, we are in a very, very dangerous economic times and that Kenyans would always go for the cheapest items. I think it's going to reach to a level where by now even Kenyans will now have to compromise on the quality so that they can get what meets their budget. Let us not talk about the event of the uh, China Square that is now about the demonstration yesterday, but our main focus is in what happened. I think this is one of the biggest mistakes that the Kenya Kwanzaa government is making. A big, big and terrible mistake. Eric Omondi was arrested simply because he wanted to give unga to the people. The government earlier last, uh, late last year and earlier this year conducted what we call giving of relief food to the less fortunate. Nobody termed this as a political gimmick uh, tool that was used to woo those people. Remember, soon after the government, took, soon after Kenya Kwanza took over the government, we saw the issue at... Uh, Kiambu County, whereby the government had to come in and donate relief food to the residents there. We've seen this uh, go to a level of whereby now there are so many other counties which receive such relief food. And the president himself, 
In all of the interviews at Al Jazeera said that he had spent billions in sustain, sustaining the relief food. I don't see anything wrong with what Eric Omondi did. And mind you, Eric Omondi had on Monday made it clear that he was going to plan this. So this is something that he had planned. Like the statement that Eric Omondi released prior to this is that he said, this Wednesday we meet at City Stadium from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. as we share a packet of hunger with everyone that intends to join us at Settles. We are calling upon well wishers to donate Unga. I don't think that is a very, very bad uh, event. I don't know why the government uh, came in to stop that event from happening. I think if I was the government, I would have even come, come in and I mean, added, added more Unga to this event. I think that would have softened the hearts of those people who are protesting uh, the, the, the issue of Unga. So this issue would have been would have played well if the government had attacked it professionally rather by, by like in that statement Eric Omondi says well wishers we are calling on upon well wishers that means the government can also be a well wisher the government can say Eric Omondi because you're coming with a canter I will give you a whole container of unga give to the people that way the government would have countered this move professionally but what the government has done especially what you're seeing on the screen is not welcome Come on, this is one of the biggest downfall of the Kenya Kwanza government. The government is playing ping pong with the people. What was the reason of using tear gas for something that is so important to the people? Why was this tear gas used yesterday at the Jamakima area? This is something that is bothering me, ladies and gentlemen. I believe it is bothering you. Why was this selectively done? Why not yesterday? Why today? Why the tear gas had to be thrown for people who had convened there to get access to Unga? Currently, Unga retains at 200. Now, that's a lot of money, you know, to someone who doesn't, who earns less than a dollar in a day. 200 bob is a lot of money. Maybe this person would like to even save, like, let's say, like 50 bob a day, or 100 bob a day, 200 bob a day, so that this person can save for the kids. Now, getting access to a free unga can enable this person to save 200 more. If this person had planned to get unga, buy unga probably at 200, and now you've given unga for free, don't you think that will make this person, the vulnerable person in the society, appreciate what Eric Omondi has done so much? This is not a good move, and it is evident in what the people are saying in that uh, in those videos that I've shared. Ladies and gentlemen, kindly share what your opinions are regarding this, what the government has done, and do you think it's a, a very good move? I personally don't think so, but if you do, kindly share below the comment section. Once again, I'd like to urge you to stay safe, stay blessed until we catch up again in our next analysis.